A supraclavicular block is used to anesthetize the arm below the shoulder. This block targets the distal trunks and the origins of the divisions of the brachial plexus. We remember the breakdown of the brachial plexus with the mnemonic, Randy Travis drinks cold beer. The basic setup for a supraclavicular block includes a 5 cm, 22 gauge short bevel insulated needle, sterile towels, gauze, two 20 ml syringes for local anesthetic, extension tubing, a 3 ml syringe and a 25 gauge needle for local anesthetic skin wheel administration, sterile gloves, aseptic cleansing solution, and a peripheral nerve simulator or an ultrasound with a sterile probe cover and jelly. Below is a basic overview of the steps needed to perform a supraclavicular block. Place the patient in the supine position with the head slightly elevated. Have the patient drop their shoulder and turn their head away from the side the block will be administered on for optimal access and visualization. A pillow may be placed between the scapulae for help with visualization. For placement of the supraclavicular block, identify the clavicle the sternal head of the SCM and the lateral border of the SCM. One to two centimeters lateral to the lower lateral border of the SCM, palpate for the subclavian artery. Another one to two centimeters lateral to the subclavian artery and one centimeter above the clavicle will be your target at the level of trunks and divisions of the brachial plexus. The needle should be placed posterior, almost parallel and angled slightly caudad. If using the ultrasound technique, Position the transducer at the center of the clavicle and directed slightly caudad. Adjust the transducer until the first rib appears under the nerves and over the pleura. Remember to use a probe cover. The trunks and divisions of the brachial plexus will be lateral to the subclavian artery and above the first rib. When inserting the needle, avoid intravascular injection into the artery next to the plexus and avoid causing a pneumothorax as the pleura is immediately inferior to the first rib. After negative heme and CSF aspiration, slowly inject local anesthetic in 5 ml increments for a total of up to 30 mLs, ensuring negative aspiration each time. If you meet resistance, stop.